Hey guys, Matt here from Rank Brewery. Happy Hoomper Wednesday. It's going to be a real short one this week. It's not been a whole lot of activity. But uh, I've been trying out these beers. Uh, put up a picture. I took a sample of my Irish Car Bomb Stout uh, on Sunday. Just because St. Patty's Day and I know it was a little bit early. Um, definitely not fully carbonated yet, of course, because it only was in the bottle for a week. Um, but it was really good, actually. Um, it was really... Um, it was just, you know, the, the Jameson blends in with that beer really nicely. Um, I actually realized that in my recipe, when I originally made that beer, I made it for a 5.5 gallon batch, and this time I did a 6 gallon batch. So I put the same amount of Jameson in as I normally do. So I could tell that it was a little bit more muted, but it was still really, really nice. Well, this is the Lamb and Shandy, so I would save that for today. And again, this has only been in the bottle since last Sunday, so it's been now, what, a week and... Three days. Got a nice hiss on it already. Now this beer was a really quick turnaround, so I would not be surprised if this thing's ready to go. Yep, look at that. It's probably already ready to go. This is a really, this beer was great. A great, really quick turnaround. You know, I brewed this thing and I, uh, what, bottled it after Eight, nine days after it was brewed. It's actually fairly clear. It's, you know, it's a little bit of haze on it. Got a great head on that already. Um, I'm surprised. I, I thought it would take about two weeks generally for a lot of beers when you bottle them. This one. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, you can smell that. The, uh, the hop uh, aroma there. I didn't put a whole lot of hops into it. You can definitely smell them coming through. You can smell a little bit of the lemon. Just mostly, get mostly a lot of citrus off of it. Well, let's check it out. Cheers. Oh, that is delicious. <clears throat> I've only ever had a couple of shanties ever before. Man, that, that came out really good. Um, Basically what I did with this one, uh, may have explained it already once before, but it's basically my base wheat recipe that I use for a lot of my flavored wheats that everybody seems to really like. You know, I made a cherry wheat before, I've made an orange one, ginger, and my watermelon. And I basically did the same with this one. Um, I think I changed the hops on this one. Um, I usually use like Wilmette hops. Sorry about that, camera issues. Um, yeah, so this time, I normally use uh, Willamette hops in my original wheat beers uh, that I flavor. This time I tried Citra and Cascade, which um, which I really like doing in my, I'm gonna actually be doing it again in my Citra Pale Ale. And it came, I can really taste them in here. Um, came through real nice. Yeah, this is gonna be a great summer beer. Came out around 4%. That's perfect. Can crush this thing on a hot summer day. So, um, we getting some uh, some beer mails out probably next week. We're going on vacation. We're going to, have to do our annual Disney trip uh, coming coming up at the end of this week. We're going to take off and go down there for a few days. Um, yeah, but tonight I put the labels on these. So the lemon shandy and the Irish carbon stout. Give you a close up here, quick. It's our new labels we started using last year. Uh, there's the lemon shandy, and of course the new caps came out real nice. And, uh, and yeah, it's, that's kind of it. So, real nice quick update for you guys. So these are good to go. I'm probably, like I said, I'm going to give them another, probably another week after I get back from vacation. I'll get those beer mails out to everybody that uh, that uh, knows to expect them. I would love to hear your thoughts on it when you get them. So, uh, so yeah, I will sign off here. Have a happy Hoomper Wednesday, everybody. And we'll talk to you. Well, I probably won't do a video next week because we are going to be in Florida. Uh, so I'll see you the following week. Cheers. That's delicious. 
You can really get that, you can definitely get that lemonade in there. It's like, it's like just enough tart, you know? It's not, I didn't know how much to use. I put two packets, um, two packets in there, two packets of the, uh, here, let me show you real quick. Found it over at Walmart, just unsweetened lemonade mix. And, uh, well, I just put two packets into the priming sugar solution before I bottled. And, uh, yeah, I guess that was the right amount, because that came out real nice. I kind of just did a measurement. I just figured, you know, I know that one packet, uh, I think it makes like 32 ounces, either 32 or 64. And I kind of was like, eh, you know, six gallons. And I was just like, well, I don't want to overpower it. So two, two packets, if it's on the low end, I'll know for next time. But no, this came through real nice. I didn't want it to be, you know, I, didn't want it to taste, I didn't want it to taste like lemonade, but I wanted it to definitely be noticed. And this is a nice, I would say this is a nice, like half and half. It's like half wheat beer, half lemonade. And I guess that's kind of what you're going for with the shandy. So call that a success. So yeah, this time I'm out of here, guys. Uh, thanks for listening to me ramble. I'll talk to you uh, in a couple weeks. Cheers.